Yo, what's good, yo, my boy? What's poppin'? That's on the neighborhood, cuz. Say word. What up? Yo, what's poppin' with y'all ashy asses? Nico in the building making aunties bat them what? lashes. What? Okay, I'm just foolin', let me cool it. See y'all listening? Join us as we get these big ups to black excellence. Okay. News you can use to uplift your kinfolk in them. Feed them something different than that circus sack on CNN. CNN. Just enough humor so it never be your bore. So welcome, welcome Mr. Mr. Martin. Martin. This is Ethnic Ish and more. more. That's what I'm
Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Hey! Turn up, turn up. Uh, uh, turn it on up. We back on another episode of Ethnic Ish and More. Episode number 45. You gotta do the four and the five. Of season two. Have a little faith. Just a, a wee bit. Faith of a mustard. I almost put faith of a mustard seed, but I felt like I was like, that's so cliche. I was like, let me try a little bit. You know, I'm a I'm a play on words type of person. Y'all about to see why I chose the word faith of today. Uh but you know the one of the things that we always forget, we gotta huh? kinda do in the beginning, because yeah. we never remember to do it until like an hour in. Yeah. Uh so as always, I appreciate y'all as she asked us for coming back. It is the one and only one half of the tandem. I am Nico the Great. Man, it's the past master. And we are here to give y'all this wonderful thing that we call postal podcasting, meaning rain, sleet, or snow. We in this house. We're going to bring you the wonderful news, provide you a little bit of jewels, and I'm going to try to locate some of them blues clues Fuck you, that that motherfucker Steve lost on his way to rehab. Um, but we, we've been praying for him. He's been doing good. Nah, uh, whatever, bro. I, mean, I don't know what he's doing, man. I'm not, I'm not paying, praying for the man. I'm scarred. I'm traumatized. You left me, Steve. I honestly want that chair. And I just want to know how every time he drew one of them clues, the motherfuckers came to fruition like that. I understand it's a show. But as a kid, you're thinking like, how does this motherfucker know everything? Like, he's just literally drawing it. Boom, it pop up. I want a dog like Blue, though. No, but I don't like the fact that I thought Blue was a boy my whole life. Yeah, I did find out. I'm like, how y'all Blue was a girl. Magenta was a girl. I thought that was Blue's Boo. Or was they? Okay. Um, they was indoctrinating us. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that, it's 2024. Blue, love who you love. Uh, Magenta, <laughs> do what you do. But we got to, I'm going I'm to give it a, a no, I'm not going to do a pre-clap. I was going to do a pre-clap. But as I told y'all, we have a wonderful episode called Have a Little Faith. Because we have a wonderful guest that yeah. is here to kick it with us today. Yeah. She is a wonderful lady out of Missouri. I, I, I think other, I read Kirksville. Shout out to Truman State. Oh, uh, I, been, I went there Missouri. one time. They tried to. Just, I, that's a story. Oh. The school tried to. Yeah, let's just say they don't dance in the party and accidentally hit somebody. They tried to hit you with the charge? No, they tried to fight us, but it wasn't going to go the way they thought it was going to go. But shout out to Truman State uh, nonetheless. But we got the wonderful. Faith Miller, we gotta clap it up for her yeah. as we're gonna bring her into this wonderful thing. How you doing there, Faith? How are you guys? We are good, doing great. Good. We are doing great. Can you hear us well? Yes, I can. Yes. Okay, listen, that let's... was quite the intro. Oh it is. I try, I try. I try to do a little razzle and a little, a little bit of razzle. dazzle. A little razzle. Just a little bit of that, man. We gotta make sure we got it. You definitely did. Good. I I got another story about Truman though, because oh, I feel like I have a lot of Truman stories, so I definitely gotta hear yours. Um, well, all I just remember, um, back in my youthful days, um, I did a lot of dancing in the parties. I, I was okay. kind of the guy that they bring to the parties we turn up. And I was traveling there, actually. I went to Lincoln University. Okay, and we yeah. decided to travel the football team. We knew our football team wasn't going to win. Yeah. So we didn't put faith in them whatsoever. <laughs> but we knew we, we knew we was going to a party. So I only came for the party part, and I cr- randomly traveled with people I never travel with. Mm-hmm. We just like we finna go turn up. I just remember my homeboy uh, kicking someone while dancing in the party. His ass disappearing in the midst of all this chaos, and us finna have to square up with half of the school because they found out we weren't from there. Luckily, I got. Somebody a- saw the eighteen sixty six on you. Yeah, <laughs> they just finna knock us back to eighteen sixty six if we let them. Uh, but it, it, it turned out smooth. We got home safely. Uh, no love lost with Truman stay with me. Hey, because I don't blame him for being mad. Truman, Truman, Truman is weird for me. I, the high school I went to, um, everybody went to Truman. Like that was like everybody that that could go somewhere, they went. But like probably I would say a third of the class was like, oh, I'm going to Truman. To my my two friends was like, we're going to Truman. I'm like. Yeah, I'm going to TSU, but not that TSU. <laughs> Wrong one. And they, um, yeah. So I they, and I actually went. I went to Truman for a football game. Had yeah. a good time. Really? How was it? Boring. 
You should you should have gone to a game within the last five years. They've gotten so good. See, well, I'm yeah. biased. Mine like, was years ago. Lincoln plays Truman this year. They're in their conference now. I don't so. really want to see Lincoln travel to play people because I'd rather just lose it all. Um, <laughs> I, I love Lincoln to the death of me. I got it tattooed on the back of my arm, but just I just the, the the faith of the mustard seed we were going to have tonight. I just don't have it for them. <laughs> Um, theirs is a watermelon seed. I just don't know what's gonna happen with it. <laughs> but you said you got a story. Now we gotta hear it. I mean, I went to school there. I, you know oh. what I'm saying. So like, I have stories on stories on stories. I mean, I feel like their football program at Truman's definitely gotten better, and I feel like it's definitely a lot more interesting. I'll be interested to see what they do. The head coach that was over there that was really successful, he just retired, and now he's coaching. Um, Kirksville high school team so that's been like the big like because I guess his grandson is gonna play football um at that school like he's a freshman going in they're saying he's a stud so I'll be interested to see like because I feel like Kirksville is one of those towns where they've just always supported the college more than the high school but if you go to most places it's like the opposite yeah so I don't know I'll just I'm interested to see the dynamic but yeah it sounds like a, a woman who knows football to me Sounds like she's a, I mean, very well versed. Yes, she's in, a, the, a in the in the sport of pigskin. Yes, yeah, she, yeah, she's what, what else are you gonna do in a small town? I hey, like the touche, town. Is, like I grew up with like seventeen thousand people. What else do you do? Go to a football game on a Friday night. That you feel would, me? That would like really shock me. Like you date one person and that's it. You can't date nobody. It's else like everybody family. else knows every. I thought St. Louis was small. Seventeen thousand. All y'all got to know each other in some capacity. Everybody went to high school, or know but somebody that knows related. somebody. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I mean, I wouldn't put it. Past, I mean, with so many. What years so, were you at Truman? Um, I think my freshman year, I was. I went in in 2017, and then I dropped out my junior year. Yeah, I dropped out. I didn't finish. I, I didn't graduate. You. Didn't make it that far. Hey, um, you. my. My Let's first semester of my junior year, I just re- decided that, like, I really wanted to do music full time and it just was not going to help me do that. But I did have a really good experience there and I'm glad that I went there because I feel like I learned a lot about myself in college. I feel like every young person should, like, go to school and, like, figure themselves out, you know, or just have that experience, even if they don't get anything out of it I other than just, like, social time. interactions. Yeah. I feel like it was important. I a thousand percent agree. I always tell people. At bare minimum, go for a semester for the networking. Because Literally. the amount of people I still talk to in abundance are those from college. Yeah. I can go to a plethora of states. I know some.